So today we're going to be making this voting application more secure. Just a little note, if you haven't watched the first part, I'll leave a link right on screen and in the description. Make sure to watch that first. So the first thing is that I use this package here called user agent. I use that to extract some information from the browser so we can actually identify the person that left a vote. If you really want to make this secure, you would have to have some kind of login system where they verified something with an email. But the next best thing is to identify them based on the browser and operating system and their IP address. So that is what we're doing today. We of course also need a place to keep track of all the users and that is what I use this variable for. Then this is a cooldown. The first way I'm going to show you how to do this is with a cooldown. This is six seconds. So that means that you can leave a vote every six seconds. The next way I will show you how to do this is just one vote per election. This is the magic number. Now this can be anything. And really, if you download this and you are actually using this for something, please make sure to change this. It doesn't matter what you change it to, just make sure to change it. Because this we inject in different ways in our hashing algorithm. And that just makes sure that even though you're running the same application, we do not generate the same kind of hashes. Then whenever we receive a new connection, we use the package called user agent string to extract all of the information about that user. We'll get stuff like the browser, the operating system, and we're going to use all that information to identify it. This is the way we get the IP address. Then we get an ID, which we later will use for this handle here. But all the ID is, is the user agent string .os, which is the operating system, the device, plus the magic number. Then we combine this ID with the IP address plus the matching number again, which will get us a handle. And our hashing function here is right here. I cannot explain how it works because I did not make it. I found this on Stack Overflow and you can find the original code and original answer at this link here. But after we got this handle, which is the way we're going to be identifying the user, then all I do is just check if that user is undefined, because if it is, that means that that user has never left the vote before. And that means that we can just make a vote. If that user has left the vote before, then I make sure to check that it's not undefined. And then I check the handle plus the cooldown time is smaller than the current time. So that is the way I calculate the cooldown. In this case, it's six seconds. So that means that from the user leaves a vote, he or her has six seconds before they can leave another vote. Now, if you only want the user to vote once, all you do is to remove this entire part here and do that. That will mean that the user can only vote once. One other thing that makes this thing here work is this make sure to set the handle equal to the current time so let me just show you how it works so let's see that i vote for javascript here and you can see i can spam these nothing happens whenever six seconds has passed by we can vote again let's say i vote for python here it gets through i go over here i can't vote even though it's different browsers this is based on the operating system and the IP address. If I open a virtual machine, well, I can vote. And if I go back here, I'm not affected by the cooldown timer because it's a different operating system. There are definitely ways to cheat the system. If you really want to make it secure, like I said in the beginning, make a whole locking system where they sign up with an email, there's Google Authenticate and all that. Then you can make sure that the user doesn't cheat. So guys, I hope that this video helped you. And if you guys want me to make a third video on this, where I style this application and make it look all nice, comment that down below. And this was everything for today. And hopefully see you in the next one.